do you often or have you thought about sometimes or made yourself say these statements this is hard to think about so listen to me carefully but have you made this a part of your life that if you don't do it it won't get done in other words sometimes have you thought about like well you know you need to get and have you heard the statement that all that evil needs to flourish is for good men to do nothing and that's not true because you see it's not about what you're doing it's about who you believe in because if you believe that God has a plan and everything is going according to his plan then you know that he is accomplishing his purposes and that in the end we win so does that mean that evil will flourish yes at times it will and at times God will put it down and at times there will be harvest at times there will be rain because God causes the Sun to shine and rain to fall on the wicked and the righteous so you have to recognize that it's not about your doing so much as your following and being obedient to him because it's too easy to be practical when God says be faithful meaning that the practical part of what you should be doing is asking him what to do not doing something without asking him lots of times people do things in the quote-unquote name of the Lord where God never said or God will ask you well who asked you to do it well I thought no see that's the problem were you told and there are times when I've asked people even on the internet or you know in person well did you ask God about it well no it's written in the Bible no I didn't ask if it was written in the Bible everything is written in the Bible from creation to devastation let's be real Genesis to Revelation you've got just about everything that you could possibly imagine somewhere recorded in the Bible and you could pick and choose and abuse whatever it is you want to do and wind up losing the very reality that God is speaking directly to you and wants to have you directly influenced by him and told what to do so don't get too carried away about what you think you got to do or have to do because no you don't and that means in the polit political world you don't have to do something what you have to do is turn to the Lord and trust in him ask him what you should do first before you do anything at all don't go out into some political maneuverings or don't go out into some social maneuverings or don't go out into some thing that you think you got to do because you think that you're the one if God didn't tell you don't do it <laughs> it's that simple now when people say you have to do it or they try to influence you remember God created the universe it's still going the Sun is still rising the moon still comes up the darkness still comes at night those things are going to go on whether you do them or not you're not as important to God in that way as you are in this way he knows what you need he wants to share with you what you have for today to do and he wants to guide you with his own hand into the things that will cause you to be satisfied with serving not only him but finding that he has what's best for you in store whether it be through challenges or whether it be through blessings whether it be through standing still and doing nothing or whether it be through praying through everything that needs to be done because prayer should be a direct communication with you and God not just a petition thrown up and slapped against a wall or stuck in some cracks in a wall because those are nice and they may help your faith and it may be cast out to God and you hope that they will come true but the reality is God wants to speak to you and to tell you what he will do as you're faithful to ask him what he wants you to do and so you have a two-way communication so remember it's not about what you do it's about who you talk to and then what you do in God calling rule the world yeah it sounds good doesn't it remember no prayer goes unanswered pretty simple no prayer goes unanswered remember that the moment a thing seems wrong to you or a person's actions to be not what you think they should be 
at that moment begins your obligation and responsibility to pray for those wrongs to be righted or that person to be different. Face your responsibilities. What is wrong in your country, its statesmen, its laws, its people, locally, or even in your own family? Think out quietly and make these matters your prayer matters. Then go into your closet where your father sees in secret and speak to him there and he will answer you openly. You will see lies you never touch altered. You will see laws made at your request, evils banished, your country changed, your very political scene shifted, and all those things that you've committed to him in prayer, God will answer if you leave it there. Because you see, if you believe God for what he can do, you let God do what he does best, and you do what you should be doing, which is to trust him with all the rest. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to thine own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. When you cannot say, God told me, then it's something you should not do. But when you know God told you, then you can go forward and do it. And be careful. Don't just say, God told me last year, so I went and did it. Daily seek the Lord of what he wants you to do. You may never see the mighty work you do, but God sees it, and evil sees it, and oh, it is a glorious life, the one who saves to the uttermost. Fellow workers together with Jesus see this more and more. So love with Jesus, share what God is doing in your life as you care to find out what he is doing in yours. It's really not about what you think you can do in changing or arranging or making some political statement or some social statement or some great work of God that you think needs to be done. But really it's all about what he has already done in his son and then what he's going to do with you as a son and bring you through what you think you ought to do with what he wants you to do if you will seek him today to listen to what he tells you to do and then do as he says. It's all pretty simple, really, when you boil it down to that. So today, are you obedient to what he told you to do or disobedient? You might want to find out what he has for you today.